So, I have a plan today. Um, uh, let me just talk you through it. That might be a bit better. Okay, so the plan is pretty simple. Obviously it's Sunday, it's pretty chill. I'm just gonna be working on a side project that I really wanna work on. And essentially in the UK, there's something called Companies House and it's really horrible to search. And basically lots of companies, I think, use it to search for companies information. It's kind of like the directory for all companies in the UK. The UI of it is not great and I want to improve it. They've got an a they've got an API which I think we can use and I've been wanting to get into Next.js. I've built a few websites with Next.js, but I actually want to build a bit more of an application with it or somewhat of an application on top of that API. So that's the plan this afternoon. I've got a couple hours, I want to really try and bang it out and um, make it work. That's the idea, so I'm gonna bring you along with me and we're gonna try and get it done. To start off with, I'm gonna look into the API, make just have a little look at kind of just basic querying, how that works, what that looks like, um, and then figure out kind of what I wanna show back to the user to begin with. So um, yeah, let's do it. So I started off searching for the company's house API, pretty basic stuff really. Um, just taking a look at the different requests, had to make a user account, again, pretty straightforward. Started my own application so I could get some credentials. Obviously to test the API, I wanted to use Postman, pretty basic and pretty straightforward. One thing I did notice is the API rate limits, something to note when building out the app later on. So starting out with the actual app, uh, the documentation, had a look at the API suite, looking at basic requests I can make. Started to kind of play around with it in Postman, as you can see here. Got a few uh, responses, which is really great, and started to save those in a Notion. Just, I think it's a bit easier for me, especially when I'm jumping between VS Code, Notion, rather than the jumping between VS Code and Postman, just personal preference. Started to build out the next JS app with some basic styles. I'm a big fan of Bootstrap, so I always bring it in, and you can see here, just trying to get some inputs, uh, just try and get something together as quickly as I can, as I had a couple of hours to do the project. After a bit more thought, I thought actually I need to spend a bit more time looking at the design. So I had a good couple of hours, a good hour or so looking actually at the design itself. So as you can see, I did get on quite well with the design. There's still more to come, I think, but uh, it's looking pretty good here. Uh, I also made some more documentation based on the company's house responses I got. So you can see here what I'm looking to do with three additional kind of routes within the initial search, which is quite interesting. You can also see how it looks when the route isn't open. I then ran into this issue, which is really interesting. I've never actually experienced before. Again, this is I'm not too actually used to using React. Something to do with cores. So I had actually look, had to like look into it a little bit, and it's something that I found a bit confusing. Um, you know, I've not actually used Next before that much, so it was kind of new to me. But what I found out was that it's going to be basically quite not as simple as I first thought to be making a request from the front end to that service. I found a really, really great article on it, which you can see here. And it kind of just led me to believe that essentially what I need to do is instead of making the request directly from the React front end, I need to set up my own Node Express app and make them from there. It does make sense as well, because I don't really want to be having my credentials in the front end. I know you can use environmental variables, but just me personally, I'd rather have it all with my own Node app and then just within the front end, I only has auth to be able to make requests to that Node app. Pretty basic stuff, but I think um, that led me looking, looking at the time, it's quite late. I just didn't fancy cracking on with it. So this is kind of the end result for now. You can see the my app on the left and the register on the right from the company's house. You can see it's searching, how it looks. Again, it actually isn't that bad what they do. It just isn't quite good enough in my opinion. I think my app will be better. Well, I hope it is anyway. So the idea is that on the left, you can see you've got the, all the list of the companies on my side, and then you, you see the three buttons, those then toggle what you see when you're actually in the in the in the view page. So everything can be seen from the index page, basically. And um, there's a few other bits and bobs I wanna add, but um, those will come in a later video.
thank you very much for watching. Yeah, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.